Welcome back to our show, folks. Uh, with us tonight, we have uh, Lorenzo Ortiz. He is a filmmaker and an artist, and he's here tonight to talk to us about his latest project, A Dangerous Return. Welcome to our show, Lorenzo. Uh, thank you very much. It is my pleasure. What's going on? I think there's something wrong with the feed because Lorenzo is moving very strangely. Um, let's see what could possibly be the. <laughs> I'm just I'm just messing with you, El Robozo. Um, it's it's your the style of your show. I find it very very amusing. Oh well, that that was that was hilarious. Good job. Very very funny. Next time, uh, you know, we really we want you to be here in person. You should come and check out our green room. Ah, I, I don't know if the bench at a bus stop is really going to impress me that much. Okay, well, uh, everybody starts with a little sarcasm, so uh, let's, uh, let's, why don't you tell us about your latest project? Uh, I'm just messing with you, Robozo. Uh, I like what you do, I'm a fan. So, uh, yeah, but Dangerous Return, uh, it's, uh, it's my new uh, feature film that I'm working on, is an animated uh, musical adventure. Uh, the soundtrack and the music and the words all come from uh, Gabriel Rios' uh, um, album, The Dangerous Return. And uh, I've adapted it. Uh, I, I was a fan of, um, I've been a friend of Gabriel since we were children. Uh, I was a fan, I'm a fan of his music, and I got uh, his uh, uh, CD, and I heard it, and I was listening to the tracks, and uh, all these images and the story uh, just popped into my head. So it felt, um, uh, I felt as if uh, the door to a larger universe had been opened to me, and I really uh, felt very powerful towards it, and I felt that I should follow that line of. Uh, uh, storytelling. But yeah, that's that's that sounds great. That sounds like a great project. And you said uh, that it's an animated feature. It's my first animated feature. I've done short films, and in my uh, last uh, uh, feature film, there was some animated uh, portions, but I've never done a full animated movie. I mean, not that this one is going to be fully animated, because just like in The Wizard of Oz, there's going to be like a beginning where it's a, a real life, uh, you know, a film with real people, and then we. Uh, uh, blend into animation very similar to what uh, Richard William was doing and uh, Ralph Banshee, all those uh, animators from the 80s and 70s that I admire so much and definitely this project has been uh, influenced by all these stories. That's great and uh, what, what is the movie about? Uh, well, uh, the, uh, uh, the plot of the movie basically is um, uh, the child gets lost in the dream world and he sort of uh, wanders from dream to dream uh, getting deeper and deeper and deeper into the dream world. Uh, of course, there is the dangers of the nightmares and the wonder, wondrous uh, moments of the dreams. Uh, but it is, uh, it's a very, very crazy, trippy, uh, wonderful uh, movie that we have, uh, we're working on. And, uh, and how can uh, uh, people be more involved in this? Well, we want the audience to be very involved. We're actually still in the process of uh, um, conjuring the story and starting to work on the visuals. Of course, all of the, the posters that you've seen and all the animated bits that you've seen are still temporary. They're, we're working on everything, really. We're really working on the art design and uh, giving it a very unique and uh, a wonderful look to the film. Uh, we have a Kickstarter page. Of course, Kickstarter has become uh, the new trend and letting people know about projects and raising funds and all that. So uh, we have a Kickstarter page, uh, um, a dangerous return, uh, a Kickstarter uh, is the page. And um, please uh, go there, find find out more about the project, and uh, give us feedback, give us dreams, give us ideas, give us crazy uh, um, things that you have forgotten or maybe kind of have remember. All that stuff, uh, I'm sure we can boil it in the pot and come up with a wonderful uh, um, uh, potion for everybody to drink. So folks, uh, that sounds all fantastic. Uh, we we're very excited. Let's see what uh, El Roboso can come up with. But for now, let's take a quick break and then we'll be back with Lorenzo Ortiz to hear more about his uh, 